Aberg. Now, you're looking forward to watching this young chap, aren't you? Oh, there'll be sparks, sparks flying off here today, Richard. This won't be running up, this will be flying all the way. Crikey. Well, just I'm impressed little, already, little right. Richard. Yes, <laughs> just a touch right, about six feet coming up. Well, we just saw Rasmus hold from there, didn't we, for his, for his birdie on the first. Nikolai Hoygaard just chipping on the first. There you go, chances, chances. Oh, how did that miss? That is unlucky. Beautifully done. So let's see whether he can start off with an eagle for Aberg here at the first hole. Good stroke online. <laughs> Don't play the hole any better than that, apart from holding your second shot. Well, we were kind of wondering if all the hype was real. We've heard so much about the, the level of skill and talent, and I think he's just answered the question on the very first hole. We'll have a little look at uh, Shane Lowry. 93 yards for Lowry, taking it in low, trying to keep it below the hole. And he damped his one. That's a great shot. So looking like opening birdies. And I feel these two holes are where you really got to score and then hold on for the next few. Ball quite a lot below his feet, considering it's just a little nudge. But it always stops pretty quick here. That's the challenge. Oh, he played that beautifully, didn't he? That just being below his feet made it just that little bit more awkward. That was a lovely touch. Incredible performance leading wire to wire. We just see Adrian Moronk, his birdie putt on the way at two. That's pretty good, two yeah. under for uh, Adrian Moronk. Yeah, uh, Dan. Uh, Anthony Wall, who's out on the course here, said last week, he was obviously yes, watching yeah. he said it's the best he's ever, ever. Now, he's been around a long time, Anthony Wall. Surprising, really. I mean, there's, there's a few tuck pins out there as well in this. When I kind of played on Wednesday, I didn't think it was the easiest golf course, but I think you've just got to kind of pick and choose your moments really yeah. around here. I think the golf club are going to throw a bit of a party next Friday night, so um, yeah, it'll be a it'll be good to celebrate with everyone. Obviously, it's a pretty rare occasion um, that you get a chance to celebrate a DP World Tour win, so it'll be forward to it. Is that next Friday the party? Next Friday, yeah. yeah. No, I'm, I'm not working next Friday. I'll be there. Yeah. I'll see you there. Yeah. Well, where is this golf course? Is it next week? Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm not in Cron. Looks fairly straight to me for um, Shane Lowry. This fifth. Yeah, they are digging in, aren't they? Well, he came here needing to make a statement, Lowry. He just wanted to confirm to everybody he's ready for the Ryder Cup. Everybody pretty much knows he's going to get a pick, and that is how you make a statement. Well, it was exactly as Sophie said. Finger just outside left edge. Good pace. Nice birdie. Adrian Moronk starts well, making his case for a spot on the European Ryder Cup team. 188 today in between seven and eight for the talented Swede. You're a bit of a golf geek, Wally, aren't you? I mean, you love studying. Yes. And are we watching the future of golf here with Aberg? Oh, yeah, both of them. They play a completely different game. Fantastic birdie putt for Yannick Paul for a two on the seventh. But a great chance, maybe just moving a little left. Yeah, he had the pace, didn't he? But he probably learnt a little bit from his playing partner's putt there. Third shot at nine for Aberg on its way.
just a little left to right outside the hole for Aberg. Does it the old fashioned way, plays a par five as a three shotter. But he gets his birdie to turn in 32. Impressive stuff. 239 to the pin here for Nikolai Hoygaard. Easiest hole on the course, this par five. Over 70 birdies on it, a couple of eagles. Might be another eagle there. That'll do, Mark. Third shot of Moronk. Yeah, beautifully played. Guaranteed birdie there for the pole. Great passion for the game. I mean, what about him winning one of the next two events and saying, like, what about me as well? I'm adding him to my list now. We've got 45 picks now. Yeah, yeah, you're doing well. Aberg has played that nicely. Nice Look at job. that, what a beauty. Pick that one up. He's, he's now in my he's now in my <laughs> team again well, after he that. might get in and I'll tell you what. Up and down to get to four under. Yep, that's the way he saw it. He played it. Take a lot of sand so you take the spin off completely and just let the slope take it down there. Well thought out. Looking to become the third player from Germany to play in the Ryder Cup. Bernhard Langer and Martin Keimer before him, of course. A great chance for Eagle here for Nikolai Hoygaard, Anthony. Yeah, right edge. They're going to get in their team eventually. Might as well put them in early, I say. Right. Yeah, well Making his way towards it quite Thank nicely. You. Nice, Eagle. Crazy good. Yeah, I mean, um, he's the thing. What is he? 39th in the list. Is he 39th and, and his brother's ninth in the European points list? Yeah. So Nikolai can't qualify automatically at this point. Right. I just say if Yannick Paul can tidy up for the birdie here, which he does, and as we keep saying, he's the one person just a spot behind Robert McIntyre, the automatic qualifying spot. Below his feet, there's the trademark dip through it of the Yannick Paul swing, and that's a superb recovery from that stance and that lie. Well done to him. It was an amazingly big dip. Nikolai, right to left. Crikey, I mean, they do make it look very easy. Big birdie for him, he's fourth on the European points list. Moronk's having a rock and roll day out there. Been some good stuff, some brilliant stuff, and a little bit of uh, the average as well. And you see, there you go, perfect example. I like that about him, you know what? Doesn't get flustered. Playing just over its par at 3.01. So, birdie two is a bonus. Yeah, another quality shot. Moronk made it. The birdie at the 14th. Something like an eight iron here. Certainly is. Great birdie too. He's turned into a world-class player, Moronk. Plain and simple. 
Yeah, Yannick Tull, third shot at the 18th, up and down here for 67. Oh! Oh, 66. And that was going nowhere else at the bottom of the hole. What a brilliant shot. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.